Hi Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be your weekly message for the week of February 13th through the 19th. This is a general message, will not resonate with every Virgo. This is not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Virgo propensity in your chart, there may be messages in the reading for you. If not, do feel free to check out any other sign propensities. Any information you need will be in the description box. And thank you in advance. And to all those who have already subscribed, greatly appreciate it. I'm going to jump right into your reading, Virgo, February 19th through the 13th. The 13th to the 19th of February. Two more cards for Virgo, please. Also going to be pulling a Work Your Light and Animal Oracle card at the end just to see what other energies and guidance you can get for the week, Virgo. Two more cards for Virgo, please. What do we have for Virgo? Two out of four major arcana already out. So some major changes and some major energies shifts going on for you guys okay, let's see how much we have two perfect okay at the bottom of the deck virgo we have the six of pentacles all right so the six of pentacles is an energy of generosity okay equal give and take um giving equally, receiving equally. So whether this is going to be the energy that you're in, whether this is you feeling generous, wanting to give to a situation that you maybe feel like you haven't given to equally in the past, wanting to bring some balance back into it, or this is someone that's wanting to um, show you some appreciation, show you some generosity, you know, show you uh, maybe it wasn't balanced in the past, as I said, and they're wanting to balance it back out this week. So good energy to go into the week with. Your first card out, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So um, this could definitely be you in this energy this week. This Nine of Pentacles is an energy of independence, being very independent, being very self-efficient, being able to take care of your own bills, run your whole household, you know, um, the single life usually, not necessarily, but most times. Um, so it definitely could be you feeling strong, feeling independent, feeling on top of your game, um, really, really um, shining in your independence and people are noticing that. Um, someone could also be looking at you in this sense, right? Very independent, very self-efficient, very ideal um, sort of energy there, okay? Your next card out is the High Priestess Major Arcana. Definitely could be you. Um, this is an energy of following your intuition, whether this is your intuition that's guiding you towards something or someone else that's in your environment that's intuitive being guided to you, but there's definitely some sort of intuitive higher sense of guidance here. Okay, you could also be not speaking to someone. The high priestess is someone that's very quiet, secretive, but uh, more so she's only secretive when she feels she has to be, right? So definitely could be a little quiet with somebody and maybe that has them wondering, kind of having you seem very mysterious, coming off very mysterious here, okay? The next card out, another major arcana of the magician. So definitely... Um, could be connecting with someone family person fr friend relationship that is um also a spiritual this is sort of like a spiritual partnership with the high priestess oh no i'm lying total different thing but definitely could be you manifesting something here someone wanting to manifest you back into their energy um feeling very empowered feeling like you have everything that you need in order to bring forth the life quality that you want feeling very confident definitely could be guided by your intuition towards something maybe starting a new work adventure um you know feeling very creative feeling very independent um definitely but definitely high high manifestation power is going on right now very very tapped in very very in flow with the high priestess here and the magician this week feeling very independent and very on top of your game the next card out we have the page of cups could be dealing with the pisces or have that propensity in your chart but um something could be happening out of the blue for you okay this is usually something happening out of the blue some sort of surprise messaging or um some sort of surprise communication usually to do with our emotions because it is a cups card um you know things that make us feel good love that type of energy it definitely could be um a message that you're not expecting to get or you weren't expecting to get this is also a card of apology so if there is someone that you aren't speaking to with that high priestess energy definitely this person might be thinking to come in and offer some apology or you know reach out to you maybe a small gesture maybe you're not expecting this or they're ready to give you some sort of um or thinking to give you some sort of communication 
um, that's based on emotions, okay? Your next card out, Queen of Swords. Definitely could be someone that you uh, cut off. Queen of Swords could be dealing with air sign, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but this is coming out underneath the High Priestess. So definitely could be a situation here of um, some sort of relationship, whether it's a friend or relationship, romantically, business-wise. There's someone that you're not speaking to, someone that you maybe cut communication with. The Queen of Swords is a very straight to the point, no bullshit type of energy coming in under the high priestess with this nine of pentacles definitely you know your strength you know your worth you know your value and if there's someone that was not meeting you at the bar in which you expected to be met at then you definitely had to cut that out maybe someone you were in a relationship with maybe that's why you're coming in very independent very single here with this nine of pentacles but definitely someone um that you have to maybe speak some truth to okay or whoever this is also might be coming in with a small gesture with this page of pentacles because they know that you're maybe still angry because you're not speaking to them currently right wanting to bring in that balance definitely someone's wanting to bring in some equal give and take someone is in their head about the situation if it is someone that you have um disconnected from okay definitely someone in their head about the situation definitely was not an equal give and take in the past and you realize that had to cut them out had to speak some truth had to put somebody in their place right seeing things very clearly withdraw your energy with the high priestess withdraw communication this person is not wanting to manifest you back in their reality absolutely definitely could be someone you were in a relationship with and now you are single feeling very confident smelling sweet looking fine but definitely expect some sort of communication maybe something you're not expecting maybe a small sort of um, gesture of emotions but definitely someone is wanting to reach out and maybe balance out the situation with you maybe be more generous six of pentacles is also a card of you know courting taking out on dates so somebody could definitely wanting to make something up to you here someone wants to put in the work your last card out is the eight of pentacles coming in under the magician someone definitely wants to put in work eight of pentacles is a card of repetition mastery you know, doing something over and over again until you get it perfect, right? Someone definitely could be wanting another chance or manifesting some sort of second chance, third chance, eighth chance, whatever it is for you guys, right? But definitely someone wants to put in the work. If there was no work put into it before, if it was an unbalanced situation, you definitely express that and withdrew your energy. Okay, but um, someone is wanting to balance it back out, wanting to give you what you deserve because they're aware that you deserve the best with this Nine of Pentacles here. This is a catch of an energy. Okay, you know your worth. You withdrew your energy. You saw it, the situation for exactly what it was and you weren't gonna invest in something where it was not equally, where you were not equally being invested in. But someone's definitely looking to invest because the situation is definitely weighing on them. Lots of thoughts. Thinking of maybe how they're going to come in and approach you with this conversation, with this page of pentacles, manifesting trying to figure out what they need to do to show you that they're ready to give you what you deserve take you out put in the work put in the effort communication all that sort of thing right build they want to master the situation with you they want to bring this relationship back into a more balanced place okay let's get you a animal oracle for virgo please february 13th through the 19th elephant spirit number 25 which is a seven another card of good luck learn from the past definitely someone has learned their lesson or you have as well the both of you because i mean lessons are you know not limited right we all go through lessons and have lessons we're meant to learn you've learned this person has definitely learned their lesson Okay, if you drew their energy because of the lack of investment, definitely they're seeing that. They're seeing that they were not, you know, they weren't putting the right amount of energy. You also got vulture spirit. Nothing is wasted. Definitely something you put a lot of time and energy into as well. This could have been a long, you know, talking to this person for a long time or dating this person for a while. Is that a hangnail? Sorry. Nothing is wasted though. All the time and energy that you may have put into the situation, it looks like you're going to receive that same sort of equilibrium. So whatever you put in in the past, this person's ready to match that. Maybe even more, because we also have the Eight of Pentacles here. 
okay? Whatever they weren't putting into the past, they're ready to put in now, plus more. You know, they're really having a hard time. They're thinking about it. Nothing is wasted though. If you might've felt that you wasted your time, but you didn't. That goes there, that goes there. Nothing is wasted. Learn from the past. You are, you did learn because now when this person's come around, you're going to evaluate whether or not you're going to know how much to invest based on the energy they're giving, right? So you learn to lessen and they learn to lessen. Definitely look at how similar the color in these two cards are. Root chakra, lots of um, lower chakra energies here. Definitely could have been a very passionate connection, a lot of chemistry between the two of you, but this was a learning experience for the both of you. Learn from the past and nothing is wasted. The energy that you put into this situation, you will be receiving tenfold. Let's get a work your light for Virgo, please. February 13th through the 19th. Take, no, the initiation. Rite of passage, crushing the threshold. See? Definitely going to be initiating some sort of conversation here. There will be a conversation. You might be a little cold. They're aware of that. crossing the threshold this person's maybe wanting to you know elevate whatever the situation was between the two of you come out of the state that it is and elevate it to a higher level rite of passage the initiation definitely going to be reaching out initiation initiating some sort of conversation or some sort of healing with the situation all right virgo those are the messages i have for you hopefully you found them helpful if you do thumbs up the video for me and until next time